Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen and Mal play Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Today Mal is Kirby, you can tell because we're doing donuts. Stairs mouth treasure! Do not, donuts in the sky. Okay, Mal wants to be stair mouth. I will, uh, I will root you on. Step it up. Is that a song that I don't know? Is that like from a, like a TV show? Wish. Step it up. Run quick. Step it up. You can go fast when you step it up. Hit the switch. Sounds like a sounds like the sort of song that they would play during an 80s exercise video, like when you had to you, you had to get the tapes, the VHS tape of the the people doing the thing. I don't know how many folks grew up with with some of those in their house, but I remember at least one or two. Oh, I see. See. This is literally a puzzle. I see. Do you know how to yeah. do it? Oh. I think you have to hold them down. I have to hold them all down. Oh, well then why'd you do them? Okay. Oh, um, okay. I have to switch these two. Yeah, I see. This is quite an endeavor. Because this is actually, this is more of a puzzle than it is worrying about the, the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the hexagon tile just makes me feel like you're on a big uh, Settler, right, so. Settlers of Catan game board. So. Ooh, what a jerk. Just move over here. This is hard. Crush. Crush. This okay, is really so hard. That one's gotta go in the oh, top I left corner. I know it does. Okay, I, it's, it's hard. I, I personally find it difficult to play through a thing and also think through it. So if whenever I can, if, if I can offer help, I, I try. But if you don't want me to, then I'll just... I'm good. Okay. Then I wish you well. It's a traffic jam of, uh... This is definitely a traffic jam of stairs. Can you get the one through there? Yeah. I am Stair Kirby. That's what I was talking about. It's too... You you can't do it. You had to move them before. See, I mean, like, if you wanted to figure it out yourself, that's fine, but... That's why having a, an extra set of eyes is, uh, really nice. I, I hate to, um, I hate to alarm you, but you are going to run out of time. Swiggle back here. Wiggle. Wiggle. Listen. Just listen. <laughs> Would it be okay if I also help? Yes. Oh, okay, because like I, I can do a help. I, I can offer some, you know, assistance. Boom. Alright, first one down. 13 seconds. Great. Now, we remember that one goes to the bottom right. And then take the left one and put that in place. Okay. And then get that one in the right spot. Good work. Run, Kerbo, run! That's not, I don't think that's faster. Okay. This isn't, um, this is an Ocarina of Time. You don't have to roll everywhere. Uh, okay, so. You need to move that one to the right yeah. and park it. And then you need, 
ultimately you need to get the one on the left. I wouldn't move that one up yet because you won't you be able to fit so? it. You don't think so? No, because you won't be able to fit it. You'll okay. be in the same position. But you have to move it somewhere. You gotta move that like to the right. Briefly. See if you can move it there. Okay. Yeah. Then move the left one up and get it up into that yeah. the top right spot. I didn't move that one enough. Well, try and do it quick. Try and move it a little bit further. Okay. This is, this is gonna be close. I hope this is the last puzzle on this one. So all the way top right. Just move all the way there. Okay. Now, that one's gotta move to the top left and then you'll be done with it. This has got to be the last puzzle. There's no way they would make you do another one. All right, drop that there. And then bring the one closest to you to the uh, bottom left. Or park that on right next yeah, to you. Yeah, because then I don't have to come back. Sure. OK. And if they ask so you to do another one, if they ask you to so do another I one after step. this, I'm going to be impressed because it just seems like it's too much. But I wish you well. Nope, okay, that's, that's it. it. Thank God. I was like, certainly they're not gonna like do that, right? Certainly not. Certainly not. Oh, that's right. We were we actually learned this earlier. You can drop your ability immediately by pressing select. So like that can be helpful. Yeah. If you have to very quickly drop stairs. Anyway, all right, so where, where are you going to lead us now? Uh, those are all those. Let's do windy freezing seas. Windy freezing seas. All right, I'm on uh, bandana waddle, waddle D duty. Bandana waddle D duty. Bandana waddle D duty. It's windy. Correct. It's actually, uh, it's actually too windy. Oh, now it's going the other way. It's going to be very easy to miss secrets here. Oh, I here. want that. Very, very easy to miss secrets. Thank you. Like, we need to, we need to stay alert because we're going to, we're... Uh-huh. I want in here. Oh, Lord. He gone. This is a cool level. Ow. Can I get in? Nope. Nope, don't touch it. Thanks for the high five. Jelly junk. What's down here? Oh lord. Put it in your mouth, Kirby! Roll, baby, roll! Don't, yeah, and you can jump. I tried. <laughs> Do it again! Make it happen! There we go. Nice. Uh, needle. If they're handing you needle, you probably need it. Uh-huh. I probably you need it. Ne you probably need it. All right. What's to the left? Oh, you can use it to get through the wind. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Well... Just in here committing some sort of terrible genocide. That's the bandana waddle D way. That's good though. That means that uh, by far needle is going to be the most useful ability in this level. Oh, that guy just like left. Ooh, coins. Ooh, toy. Hooray! Hooray, toy. And another one of these. And there's nothing else around. Okay. Hi, bud. Hmm. This looks like it can be destroyed. Yeah, with the boat. Oh, there's a boat. There is sometimes a boat. Hold on. Leave it to Waddle Dee. Oh, don't, don't, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's the only thing that can fight the wind. Maybe. Thanks for getting that. I got it with my face. 
You're welcome. Oh, I need the circle. Oh! Oh yeah, that's how the boat works. It, I, that's one of my favorite things, is that they don't make you lose your ability by doing mouthful. Because otherwise that would be uh, terrible. Alright, get on board. There we go. No, you don't. Oh, that guy's after us. Oh, he drowned. That is not how I expected him to die, and yet that is how he died. You seem to have a hard time controlling this. No. Mm. I do just fine. There's definitely times we go in circles. Just gonna, just gonna get out of here. Aw, oh, little penguin. Oh, he's dead. Yep. Give it a blow. Now we can go rescue our friend. Is this on a timer? When you jump, it makes me nervous. I'm like, mm, that's how the boat works. So if the engine of the boat leaves the boat, it's gonna make things like a little difficult. We enjoyed, we three, enjoyed meals. three meals at sea. Man, when I think of enjoying a meal at sea, I think of enjoying Guy Fieri's burgers in a bin. Because we... <laughs> the one and only time we went... There's something... I know, there's something here. What is this? You want me to look? Yeah. The one and only time... We... God! Oh, we need a uh, fire. Like, you will need fire. The one and only time we went on... Um, on a cruise. Like, we were on a tiny little cruise. I mean, we were on a cruise otherwise. Yeah, but that's not a cruise cruise. Oh, you need that. We we went on a cruise with Alex and Haley a few years ago, and as uh, as part of, like, the little buffet food, there was a bin that was, like, Guy Fieri's Burgers. It was just, like, a stack of, like, several hundred hamburger patties just thrown into a bin with Guy Fieri's face on it. <laughs> and I'm like... What about this makes it Guy Fieri? Like, I don't understand. He just wanted his name on something. And they were really bad. It was like the, the world's worst hamburger. Like, I don't think that this, this counts. Just reach in with these tongs and get yourself one of these 350 Guy Fieri burgers on this cruise ship. <laughs> Delicious. Perfect, that's what we need. Four friends. Thank God we haven't missed any. Anyway, that's my meal at sea. That's... Everyone has their own meal at sea story, and that's mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Do up this. Are you on it? I'm on it. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I think that gave you a hemorrhoid. Open this up. It's a blueprint. Dragon fire, which evolves fire, which is already evolved, right? Because this is already level two of fire, so, I think that, so. That, that'll actually take it to level three, which is exciting. Fire is already like the best. Fire is like the best ability no! in the game. Oh, we want. I know we do. I. Kirby, Kirby, please, God, please get up the ladder, Kirby, Kirby, the ladder. I'm doing fine. Are you though? I could probably be doing better, but I'm doing all right. Oh, this is safe. This is safe. Oh, <gasps> you went down. Jump into the secret underground room. I saw a coin and it led me into the Oh my goodness, where are we now? We need fire cuz there's have fire. a thing. Um This is this is something. Oh, so you have to light it on the left, and then we have to get into that thing. Or I could just stay here, but it's gonna warp me because you're gonna get too far away. Yeah, you you can't get up there without the thing. Who says? Like, 
common knowledge game design. I mean, they're not going to let you just use the fire in the middle of the rope. They want you to do it the hard way. So you do that, and then we then we hurry up. Let's go! Hooray! I think what, what, one of my favorite things is just the fact that, like, this is all stuff that, you know, I did whenever I was a kid in, in Kirby. Mm -hmm. Like, like, jumping into the, um, jumping into the cannons and stuff as a kid. And it's all, it's just the same thing, it's a, except now it's been like 25 years later. Where are you, where are you? I want these coins. That's how we got into the room. But the coins. It, you'll probably fall back into the room. <laughs> then we'll have to get out. Got it. You've unlocked the ability to use this thing. I hit the button. I see that. Hmm. Ooh, a toy. I didn't light all the lanterns. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't go back now, but no. yeah, I, I was when when you had been lighting them. I was like, I feel like that's going to be a thing, and I bet you that's the one thing we didn't get. No, we did. We got everything. Well, then what did those? Oh, the lanterns must just give you individual rewards. Or unlocked something like the underground room maybe i think it's just they gave you things as you got the stuff what we get me i think we had that one wait no that was new we didn't have bandana one d scarfy traffic cone who's your favorite kirby character traffic cone uh okay I guess. Bridge. The Battle of Blizzard Bridge. All eleven. We're doing good. Yeah. We're doing we're doing better in the late game than we have in the early game, which is surprising. And that. And we found that. And that. That's in a haunted house. There's probably one back here too. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, are you gonna go back to do one? Yeah. Why not? Finish the ones way back here. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, we did that one. Did that one. This one. Okay. Tornado treasure, up and over a cross spike road. Good luck, Mel. Thanks. And then we should probably check out Waddle D Town because they said that there's a new a new building. Building. Mm -hmm. Give them hell, or in this case, wind. Ow. B and then B again. I don't think it's, I don't know that it's mash. I think it's B and then B one more time. How so? Like B and then hit B again. I don't know that it's, and maybe it is mash. I'm not playing, so I don't know. I know that you are dying really fast though, so. It looks like with just one B press you go really far. You are really just taking it to the face, aren't you? Maybe. Pro not, not maybe. You did it. I don't know that you learned how to do it, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Chad is saying you press B to do tornado mode and then B again to like end tornado mode. Okay. As opposed to <laughs> mash. Anyway, oh, you let's... want me to go to town? Uh, or... yeah. Just if you press B, you just go straight to the town. Where'd you get it from? I got it from the town. That's a a song reference that no one's ever heard before. Oh my goodness gracious! What is a this? A new store. The 145 Waddle Dee's you've saved work together to build Waddle Dee's item shop. Buy a few items to help you on your adventure. Oh, so like. Similar to the the cafe, probably. Yeah. 
And the fire ability can be evolved, which is the thing I'm most interested in. Fire ability as it stands, IMO right now is like the best ability in the game. Like, the Meta Knight is good. I don't know that the Meta Knight ability is necessarily better than fire. Because <laughs> it's just constant damage output. Is that dragon fire? Give it to me. All right. You want to upgrade it? Like, you can. I mean, we do, right? Because, like, I can't do it. You have to. That's the Pope. Yeah. I'm blown away that you chose to upgrade an ability that we never even showed off. We never even got to see what level two crash did. Time crash. Like we never even used it and now it's upgraded. So we'll just never know. All right, so uh, Mal firmly believes in chaos. Well, you need it to enter the portal. All right, go go try it out. What on earth? I mean, Crash continues to be one-time use. So, if you want to take Crash with you, you can. But it's it's you only get the one. Okay. It's not what I... Look at my hat. Oh, congrats on the hat. I was like, oh boy, fire, are we gonna get to fire? And I was like, no, time crash. No. And I'm like, oh, what's this do? Hi there, welcome to Waddle Dee's item shop. We sell items that can give you temporary power boosts in a few different ways. You can even use more than one at a time, whether you mix a few together or just double up on one. You can only take one item with you at a time, though. Keep that in mind. So, which item would you like, Kirby? Doubles your health. Increase your attack power for 200 seconds. That's a long time. Stack up to five? That seems unnecessary. There's no part of me that was like, I need to be stronger. Okay. Just hold down X, you know, in error. Like, like both of you will inevitably do and have done. Okay. Sure. This guy never has any good information. No. Did we use up all of our time crystals? There's like two, we need more. Stacking, okay, extends the duration. Okay, so you can stack for a thousand seconds. Do you want to do the time thing? Since sure. you were trying, since you, uh, you bought the super special Pope hat? All right, which one is it? Time, time crash. crash treasure. Good luck, Mal. This is a three-star difficulty. Target time is seven seconds. Seven seconds. Stop time. You've already failed. You actually should restart. You should just restart. You've already failed. Again, again, again. All right, run. Is this Return of Oberdin? Yes. Run as fast as you can. not get stuck on stuff you're running out of time wait can you redo the thing enemies make it go longer oh well you did you didn't you're not gonna get the time but you did you finished it at least so you have to run into enemies as yeah. time crash oh my god time crash can be really good really good so the problem with time crash is that the nature of these levels put you into a mood for discovery and exploration because you're trying to find secrets. Time Crash kind of eliminates that because you need to just keep running, but man, what a cool ability. That's, that's really neat. And it's also a really great way to make Crash better 
Yeah. Because Crash is fun, but like that's cool. That was fun. If you could keep hitting enemies, you could like just run right through a level. All right. Anyway, uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, I'm Kirby. And then the super powers will be mine. See you next time for more Stephen Amount play Kirby in the Forgotten Land.